for getting to this song. Yeah, that's oh, every time that I feel your touch, it makes me wanna go away. Oh. Yeah, it just went away. <laughs> uh, Friday the 14th. 13th. Yeah, it was a. 12th. Uh, so that one actually got me. Like Halloween, I've seen. Yes. And but this one actually scared me. Like the first part where they like they stuck an arrow up through his neck, uh, through Kevin Bacon's neck. That scared me. That that got me, man. Yeah, no, this is better than I remember. Hold on, I don't have the box. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, you gotta get your shit together. Do you, do we want to do a restart? Nah. You don't have my power balance. Fix it in post. Let's <laughs> Photoshop a box. It's just, it just like terribly <laughs> Photoshop my hand holding the box. Excellent. All right. Um, but yeah, there was some really good deaths. Uh, there was the that little girl. What, what's her name? Uh, she had the really tiny head, but she got like axed. That was really good. Annie. Annie. No, no, no. no. Annie was the one. Oh, the beginning. Like where. They led this led you to like this character, and she was kind of cute. Oh yeah, that and was. And then uh, she gets her neck slit. That was great, cause you're like, what? <laughs> there might be spoilers on these videos. Oh yeah, yeah. Because well, we, we're talking about them at the end. I mean, yeah. welcome to day two of these videos. There might be spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> add in post. Add it in post. There might be spoilers on these videos. All right. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, there's spoilers on the back of the box! Oh yeah, there's... Look! There's the... <laughs> yeah, there are straight up uh, the spoilers. The mom's the killer. The mom's the killer. Yes. We not were, Jason. So, we were kind of surprised by that, because I hadn't seen it. I know Me you haven't seen it. I was like, oh my gosh. And we got up to the end, it's like, wait a second, where's Freddy? Jason. <laughs> <laughs> we watched the, His name is in the movie! <laughs> you know, for as many times as the, as the mom repeats his name, like, she just keeps saying, Jason died in the lake, or something like that. Oh, the I counselors still... were making love. Or oh, something. We. <laughs> no. That is Matt approved. That is Matt approved. Making love is always Matt approved. Alright, um... <laughs> well... Okay. And then... Oh, uh, where were we, though? It was, um... Oh yeah, we were kind of expecting Jason to show up at some point in the movie, you know, with the classic class hockey mask. I looked it up. It, that, that doesn't show up to the third film. Really? Yeah. That's freaking crazy. The second film, he has a pillowcase over his head. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's weird that that's like the pervasive image of Jason, because it didn't show up for three movies. What about the, is the space one where Jason X, where is that where he gets a steel hockey mask? Yes. Because they just given up at that point? So I don't know how they uh -oh. can make a second one of these, but they're going to. Well, uh, one of the writers, Victor Miller, never watched any of the sequels because he's like, it's just stupid that Jason's the killer. So he never watched any of the sequels. Yeah. Really? It's just... It's, but he's the main villain. Of the series, yes. yes. Not of this. No, this was the original. It's like... The Titan... You know, it's like they made a Titanic 2. It's like, what's the... Wait, they did, didn't they? Uh, they, they made a movie called Titanic 2. Was it about the Titanic 2? Sort of. Sort of. Okay. They also made three animated Titanic movies. <laughs> There's and something one of them was a sequel. There's something you should know. We're gonna tell you so. Don't sweat it. Forget, Forget it. it. We enjoyed, enjoyed the, the show. show. We've been working all day. Now okay. it's time to unwind <laughs> this. Wait, That's we're enough. gonna get, we're gonna get copyright claim. Oh man, yeah. my my I'm, rhythms I'm, are too hot. I'm totally <laughs> sure that Italian company who made an animated ripoff of Titanic with all those ripoff characters is going to care that you stole their song. Well, oh, shit, if, really? uh, what's his name? The cool cat guy. Derek Savage. If Derek Savage can do that, I'm sure the Italian company can do it. Oh. Good work. That was a Ladies sick and high gentlemen, five. I probably just clipped your I present your two nerds right here. I'm a cool guy. Three. I'm a cool guy. No, you're not. I'm a cool guy. I'm no. called the person. In the, in the Mystery Science Theater Kickstarter, I paid enough that my name was in the credits, and my name, my nickname is Coolio DeFabio. Is it really? Yeah, as in referencing Homestar Runner, because I'm a cool guy. <laughs> Alright, back to the film. Can we just cut? No? Alright, back to the film. Uh, yeah, no, like, um... Because Halloween, on a second viewing, I was like... Like, it's still great. It's still a great film, but I'm like, you know, that, that maybe wasn't as good as I remember it. This was better than I remember it. Yeah, 
I mean, it was better than I expected. I actually was scared at some points. You, like, the camera works really good, the music's really good. Yeah. There's some good violence. It's Halloween, John Carpenter keeps making his own music, and it's all pretty terrible. Although it's... Wait, no, no, uh, for The Thing, Ennio Morricone. So, yeah, someone else did The Thing. Ennio Morricone. It was really good. He did The the Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. Same well, guy. it's, it's yeah. funny, we and mentioned... Also Pink we oh, mentioned yeah. with music he wrote for The Thing that never got used. In The Hateful Eight? Yeah. Because they, he just wanted them to do synth stuff. No? She, yeah, I don't know. In the no, in, I, in The I Thing, just, it's all like synth stuff again. Yeah, I, I just know that he wrote music for The Thing that didn't end up in the movie, so he put it in Hateful Eight. Okay. Because Hateful Eight is just Old West of The Thing. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> It's funny that we made a joke about Chekhov's gun in the first act of oh, the yeah. movie, and then they have a gun in the third act, which <laughs> didn't show up in any of the two acts. Uh, we were calling it that whenever that guy was pretending to drown, that someone would like get pulled under at the end of- Oh my gosh! It happened! Oh! I didn't know that there was Chekhov's gun! Because the guy was like drowning, and then she was like pulled <laughs> under. They also- I, I didn't realize this, they had Chekhov's machete. Because the dude, like, uses the machete to kill the snake at the beginning, and then she had it oh, again at the end. Oh, that's directing everybody. That's, which would, that's directing. Which would then become Jason's main weapon throughout the series. Was, the, the hockey. The hockey yeah. puck. No. Just he'd shove it down the people's machete. throats. Mom's machete. Got Mo <laughs> <laughs> sweater on his face. Mom's, Mom's machete. machete. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, it, it was also a lot more brutal than Halloween was. This was also the uncut version. It was the uncut version, so I don't know how much of this was in the original and how much wasn't. But, yeah, but I saw a lot of people get cut, though. Cause so that's, uh, to quote Strong Bad, uh, there was a lot of grody, grody, guts and blood. The... Was that real Strong Bad or fake Strong Bad? <laughs> I am also one in the same. Because in a lot of slasher films, like uh, My Bloody Valentine and uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, like, the parts that were cut were not nearly as well preserved, so you watch it on DVD and it's like, oh, that's clearly the part they cut out, because it's like super yellow. Yeah. I couldn't tell what was cut and what was in the original version of this. It was like watching The Lord of the Rings uncut, a fine wine. I, I could make some guesses. Probably the bloody stuff. Or the, the one boob. There was a single boob. There was a boob. Yeah. We saw one nipple. Can we talk about the nudity in this film? Yes. Yeah, because... Yeah, go ahead. Because they kept coming... They kept teasing it. Which I hate. Like... Don't have it at all? Yeah, it's either just have it, or don't have it at all. Like, Halloween goes for it. Halloween just has it. Nightmare on Elm Street's written in a way where it doesn't need it. This Friday, is the first, Friday the 13th literally goes halfway on it. Yes. <laughs> This movie comes so close to having nudity, and it just doesn't. There's one nipple, which I didn't even notice the first time I watched it. <laughs> Maybe it was in the uncut version. Or is this the one you watched? This is the one I watched. Oh, okay, okay. Well, yeah, I mean, that was really good. I didn't know the mom was the killer. I thought it was Jason. So yeah, it was, was a genuine surprise. Yeah. See, I, I kind of knew that before I watched this. Oh, <laughs> really? It's, it's, it's like a good mystery. Mm -hmm. Like, back in 1980, before the rest of the Friday the 13th films had come out, it was a good mystery. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, who so, done? Well, see, though, we didn't meet the the killer beforehand. We didn't know. So it doesn't make it a good twist to find out that, oh, it was the mom. It only makes it a good twist for us because we were expecting Jason to be the killer. Yeah, that's fair. They could have teased they, it that maybe yeah, they it was probably, Jason. Yeah, they probably should have introduced Betsy Palmer earlier in the movie. Yeah. Because she's just, she's like this little old lady, so you absolutely wouldn't suspect her. Yeah. But then when she doesn't show up till the last 15 minutes of the movie, it's like, wait, hold on. What you know what would have been a good a good scene to have her there would have been the diner scene. Oh, yeah, she could have been, because like she saw it like, oh, hey, I haven't seen you while that was when Bill. Right. Bill was like, oh, hello, and then she's like, and then the jump scare got me. Yeah. Maybe I'm just a st easily there, startling, startled person. There were a few moments where I was totally expecting a jump scare, and then it kind of just went subtle with it. Like when, when she's trapped in the, like, the pantry, and I was totally expecting... No, but then the, the doorknob starts... Yeah, turning. like, I was expecting it to just, like, <laughs> Ah, here I am! Here's Johnny! But it was just like... Which they did do. 
Yeah, they did do. But, like, she's just sitting there, and then, like, the doorknob starts to turn, and the music amps up, and it's like, oh, not a jump scare. Mm. But scary. Wait, are you saying that the films, uh, this, this series used to have subtlety? Yes. Whoa. What? No. Well, I guess that's all we're going to see is subtlety for the rest of the... Oh, no, we still got... Oh, wait, no, Nightmare on Elm Street doesn't have subtlety, does it? It does. It does? It's okay. good. Um, yeah, I, I definitely like Halloween more than this, but... I'm going to go ahead and say on record... No, I, I, like, I like both of them. They're both good for different reasons. Yeah, um, I do really like this. I think it's a superbly underrated slasher movie. Um, Are there a lot of overrated slasher films? <laughs> superbly underrated, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> I mean... More underrated than the rest of them. Prom Night kind of, like, it kind of gets put on a pedestal next to things like this, but Prom Night is terrible. The only good part of Prom Night is the song that they play in the middle. That sweet synth jam. There's a sweet synth jam? Why aren't we watching that one? Because <laughs> it's a bad movie. <laughs> okay. But it's got a sweet but synth jam. But that never jam. stopped you, Matt. Hold on. Play the sweet synth jam. I hope this is at the same time. Bad. I just want to let you know in advance, that was a really bad jam. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard it before in my life. Yes, we have. Remember, it's October, and we've already listened to it. Oh, yeah. Time is funny. Um, do you have anything else to say about Friday the 13th? I wish it came out on Friday the 13th. Oh, yeah, it came out, like, May 9th. <laughs> And I think there was a Friday the 13th in, like, June or July of 1980. Didn't work. They, could, they totally could have done it. They, yep. Yeah, they could have. Um, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. It's ten, out of, ten, out of, ten out of fish. Ten out of fish? <laughs> Six out fish of, out of ten. Fish out, fish out of ten. Six out of three. <laughs> that's high praise. It's 200%. All right. All right, I recommend it. Do, Moving do on. the thing. <laughs> See you tomorrow.